welcome back to my channel. I know it has been so incredibly long since we've done a day in the life vlog, which I know you all love. And today we have a jam packed day with five different appointments, but coincidentally, they're all going to be at the same house. That being said, I thought this would be a great learning opportunity for you guys to see what inspections are being done and what that means for you as an agent and for your client. I just opened escrow on a property in Bel Air earlier this week on Monday, and this is pretty much the heavy due diligence week before we head into negotiations. So let's head over to Bel Air, and I'm gonna explain more about all of our different appointments and do a house tour when we get there. and then they'll follow it down this way. So for this house in particular, it comes out here, it's clay piping, comes up past the driveway, and then they'll test how deep it is. So here it's about seven feet, and then it follows out into the street to connect to the city line. All right, guys, we just finished up at the house in Bel Air. It's currently 2.03 p.m. We basically had three or four hours of inspection. So it's been a long afternoon. Um, I wasn't able to get much footage. I was with my client and then all of the inspectors. But basically in a recap, today we had, let's see, we brought out a sewer inspector, termite inspector, a lot surveyor, a geologist, and then we also had a foundation inspector come out. We ran into an issue with the foundation. We know that there's clear settling in the foundation and cracking. And um, unfortunately this guy, the inspector doesn't do slab inspections. And especially when it comes to slab foundations, they have to essentially rip out the floors to truly see the damage that it's done. So it's hard to really get a really accurate quote, which makes our lives a little difficult because obviously you can't really head into negotiations without a hard number from an expert. So I've been making tons of phone calls and trying to get some experts out to see if they'll do a slab inspection, if they can quote us. And I'm waiting back on those phone calls to hopefully get them out. We have until Wednesday to finish up our, our contingency with our inspections and our due diligence and before we head into negotiations. And essentially when you head into negotiations, as an agent, I will prepare a request for repairs for my client where we will try and negotiate a credit for the work that needs to be done. So I'm going to now head over to the office. I'm gonna have a snack, get a little bit of a quick break, and then we'll head into some more work for the afternoon. It is Friday, so I'm gonna try and get home at a reasonable time today to you know enjoy the afternoon. So see you guys at the office. That's my office right there. And then this is an adorable little cafe that is a great place to work if you're ever trying to switch it up.
setting up filming. This is my go-to spot and you can see there's this gorgeous view behind which honestly gives me fantastic lighting. And then this is all of my equipment. I have my tripod here, lighting, um, additional lights in here. I have to fix that popped off. And then I have another tripod that I'll pop right in front of the light to get the best shots. If somebody you know is gifting you your down payment or even a portion of it, listen up and please avoid doing this one thing. Number one, a general physical inspection. Number two, a sewer inspection. And number three, a termite inspection. We do live in California. Alrighty guys, I am leaving the office now. You can probably tell in my voice, I am exhausted. People really don't talk about how tiring being an agent can be, especially when you're outside all day, meeting with multiple inspectors and especially maintaining conversation with your client. And obviously, you know, like I get along with my clients, we're friendly, we're, you know, we're friends, but you're always technically on and, you know, you're professional, of course, and, you know, holding yourself in a really professional way and, and making sure that you're being knowledgeable and pulling in information and strategy. It's a lot. Um, so anyways, it's Friday. It's around five. I am uh, calling it quits. I'm going to go home, have an early dinner since I didn't have time to eat lunch today. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next vlog. Hope you enjoyed. 